Les Unions fait la force. Unity makes force, you feel me? And we kind of got away from that, you know? Little historical beefs between neighborhoods and this and that. We raised some of the illest gangsters in Little Haiti history. This is like the number one, you know, place all the Haitians come from everywhere. I'm kind of set up like in Haiti too. This yeah, this is what we do. That's a dangerous, <laughs> dangerous area, yo. Know? Swag, 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 swag. Hey, what's going on guys? It's a beautiful day out here in Florida. I'm back in Miami. I'm here with the Grand Mode Chaos. What's up, man? Y'all already know who it is, man. I brought you through Cutler Manor. Now I'm bringing you through a whole different area. This is called Lil Haiti. Suck I fed to all my Zoles, Zoe Pound, all my Haitians, my real Haitians. Salute to y'all, man. Suck I fed. But it's only right if I feed my homie. Every time he come to my city, I feed him. Right here to Chef Creole. This one of the monuments of Lil Haiti over here. Tell them what people mainly come here and get. It's Rio. Rio, shrimp, conk. Almost 30 years they've been here, man. This is vintage. Last time I had him eat. Yeah. Make right conk. This right here. Cheeto, you don't come to say next to Cheeto. Hood Flaws Jr. coming soon. Trust me. He gonna get his old lady pregnant off this. Trust me. What it is? Lumbee. That's how you want some, man. Let's get some, huh? You ain't gotta do that. We've been sharing place for a hundred years. What you mean? Yo, I'm full as fuck. I feel like I got the booty on me up in the building. We still in Lil' Haiti. I got one of my people with me. She bad, she thick. She one of the hardest rappers out here. You know what I'm talking about? Real Haitian. It's like I said. <laughs> What's good, man? Y'all already know who this is, man. This is your girl Mina B, Mina Black. We right here right now at Chef Crown. The heart. Of Lil Haiti, like back then when they used to have all like the parades on Haitian Flag Day and stuff like that. It used to start like right here. Haiti is beautiful. Y'all need to go visit it. You got them beautiful mountains, beautiful sandy beaches. We strong people, strong minded. Um, we don't play. You know, we don't take no for an answer. Man, we we, we work hard. We go after everything that we want. Very known spiritual person that everybody adore is Donto. This is Donto. Part of the Haitian culture. Yeah. Everybody know him for the tie, you know, Haiti. So don't talk. Everybody fuck with her. Definitely. The Haiti can go from like, like 40, like 46th Street, all the way down to like 82nd Street. We'll just say like Northwest Fifth Ave, all the way to somewhat like this game. When Haitian people came into America, this is like their section of Miami. So that's why I wanted this to be seen. I'm not Haitian, but a lot of my homeboys is Haitian. Pass this all the way straight down till we get to Northeast Seven. Like they can tell you better than I can. But I know this a dangerous, <laughs> dangerous area, yo. You know what I'm saying? A lot of sides of Miami, like you don't know somebody, just don't even be there. Shit ain't nothing to be fucked that way, <laughs> like for real, for real. We gonna keep going until you get the. You know I had to come to Lil Haiti checking with the with the big homie. Cut through Lil Haiti, it's only right. So when we follow suit. Most respected, most connected. Lil Haiti's finest. You heard? King B your highness. <laughs> that boy trying to spit bars over here. Yeah. Man, let's take it over to this flag, man. Gentrification is in full swing out here. They bought the old trailer park. They fucking turned that into like Winwood Yard. It's called uh, Magic City Base Camp. It's an outdoor performance venue. They do concerts there and all that. The infamous wall. I might have seen this in countless videos. Future, Diddy. Uh, quite a few people have come to this wall and shot video. It's like a staple in the hood. Like, you come to Lil Haiti and you ain't catch a flick on the wall or shot a video, they might question if you ever even been here. You hear me? There be a lot of static and all this about who you check in with and all that when you come to Miami. With me, it ain't even a check-in thing. It's a link up, you feel me? I invite niggas to the hood to come show this shit. We don't know how much longer this shit gonna be here. So I get niggas to come through and keep the hood on the map. Keep the, keep the little Haiti conversation going, you feel me? Y'all trying to come out here and shoot videos? Fuck with this music shit, get with a real nigga, man. No extortion, man. Straight, straight link up. Kings respect kings, kings link up. 
We on some whole nother energy and vibe. Le union fait la force. Unity makes force, you feel me? And we kind of got away from that, you know? Little historical beefs between neighborhoods and this and that. And, uh, Haiti is, it's, it's like that one huge Haitian community in the whole United States. Like after Haiti is little Haiti. That's where a lot of the uh, marches and protests have gone on. Uh, this is the home of the Zopound. There's other groups from here, SAP. A uh, lot, a lot, a lot of, lot of different groups came out of here. Zopound might be one of the more prominent. People see them as the group that put Little Haiti on the map, but you know, you have different groups, different sets. And there's gangsters in every hood. There's real niggas in every set. As time went, the new generations came and they started stamping their own little sections with different names. You got Uptown, you got Eastway, you got like different sets in the hood. But before it was just a little Haiti. You would have Zopal, Sap, uh, you got zombies, you got, you know, you had different sets. Sable Palm, where I'm from, that was like the only Haitian project, so to speak. But I'm from Sable Palm, it's, it's, it's a nicer place to live now. <laughs> due, due, to, due to gentrification. <laughs> right. But yeah, I'm from Sable Palm. Yeah, we, we raised some of the illest gangsters in Lil Haiti history, hands down. We can't forget about 9-5 too. Oh, 9-5, nine 9-5 nine yeah. is like, now That's father's like a cousin of Lil Haiti. It's extended. <laughs> yeah, extended you know, extended we, we extend Lil Haiti to like Airport Tail, Miami Shores area. But now five, like I said, this Haitian shit stretched so far. Like North Miami, you know, North Miami got a lot of those. But Lil yeah. Haiti is that 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 center. All the Haitians landed in Lil Haiti first before they branched out to the rest of Miami. We had our own thing. We was different than the Americans, even though. We right there across from each other. We just grew up different. Some niggas grew up robbing banks. Some niggas fucking grow up selling dope, hustling. But the thing for young Haitian niggas coming up in the game, they would get put on licks. Nigga might run up in the crib and get some work, some money, hit the dock, get some dirt. The shit, I, the shit on news, it's been documented, so this ain't telling. <laughs> no names mentioned, you heard me? Just generalization. Y'all can do the speculating. We will fun by love. me he said in Creole, this is your house. We always raise niggas up to be bosses in, in our hood. Ain't no little niggas or workers. The little nigga up boss too. I'm gonna take them by hand up in the back. In the back cuts. Yeah. Cause if you're gonna be in little Haiti, everybody got no by eyes off. The Haitian Walmart. If you're in Lil Haiti, you definitely gotta come shopping over here. You know, this is my son, grandfather business. You know, I go supermarket. I kind of set up like in Haiti too. This is, yeah, this is what we do. This is the owner. It's my son, grandfather. So he knows it. So if you come to Lil Haiti, you have to come shop here. This is like the number one, you know, place. All the Haitians come from everywhere. It's shorty right there. Hold on, get my dog shorty. Okay. <laughs> dog shorty. That's from Haiti. That's one of the rice. Though. One of the yeah. rices. Yeah. Very famous rice. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. like Haitian, like sweet bread. Okay, this is peanut butter made from scratch. And this is kasab. It's like a crunchy, like bread, flour bread that you put peanut butter on. And it tastes really, 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 really good. <laughs> Sugar cane from Haiti, syrup, Milo, mm -hmm. this is like a big shopping area, even like little stores in little Haiti, come here, come here, yeah. from other states, come here, they come from Haiti and get stuff to go back to Haiti. A true Haitian uh, entrepreneur, pioneer in the game, like you can buy some stuff for your family in Haiti here. And they can pick it up in Haiti. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been, doing, he's been doing this thing a long time. I know them when I was a young hustler out here. Yeah. I do See? We got positive hood legends. We got positive hood people, too. It ain't all bad. From a small storefront to owning the whole fucking corner block. This whole warehouse is his shit. They ain't even seen the one on 71st. If you go on the other side, he got like... The buffet style restaurant. We got three dollar plates. Like you can come in and get a full Haitian plate of food for three dollars. Three oh five, little Haiti. Man. Yeah, no good seeing you, nigga. Left, my boy. One hundred. Right now I'm in my hood. Really, I was on the other hood, on the other side. It's little Haiti. I just came from the city, from the Poking Bean Project on 15. 
slide up here. You know, I like that Haitian food. No offense to American, I'm Haitian. I don't eat nothing but Haitian food. Nothing, I don't eat no Chinese food. I don't eat no white people food. I don't eat no Indian food, none of that shit. If it ain't Haitian food, don't get it to me. We out here at Bongu Restaurant. It's another spot in Little Haiti that's been started by a local nigga from Little Haiti, you feel me? This shit started with a grill in the back of a tattoo shop. We it into this. A spot called Philly Grub had came and uh, opened up right here. But I guess they didn't do their research because the neighborhood wasn't really supporting it. The blessing in that is they shut down and somebody local from the hood got to acquire the space and put something here that the community fuck with. So salute to BJ and the guys, man. I got a great thing going here. You heard me? Bongu means good taste. And boy, they ain't lying. Nice decor, diverse menu, great food, great drinks, great desserts. Look at that. It's under construction, it's just being put together. Young boys serious about their craft out here, you know? Putting their money where their mouth is. Lil Hitty got a shitload of artists to offer. We got like so many different artists, but right now we at the home of the Eastway All Stars, you hear me? My nigga Eastway Santana. He holding it down for the young balls, you hear me? He holding it down for the young niggas on this side, you hear me? It's just, it's only right. He grinding, he been doing shows, he putting out videos. You gotta salute that kind of work. Ain't too many young boys taking the initiative, like nobody holding his hand. He like, he'll call me after like, big bro, this is what I'm doing, or this and that, and I'll be like, I'll maybe give him some advice or something, but for the most part, he just on go on his own. They, the boys got together, put up this facility. They doing their own studio. You gotta salute that. You know, OGs and all the motherhoods, man. You see them young boys doing their thing, big them up, salute them. It's a lot of niggas doing their shit in the city though. Shout out and salute to all the young kings out here in Miami, holding it down. I'm from Little Haiti, but I fucks with Overtown. I fucks with the city. I fucks with Opalaka. I fucks with Miami Garden. You heard me? This shit big, man. We all won. Eastway, say what up to the people, man. You already know what time it is, man. Eastway Santana. You feel me? Hottest nigga in Lil Haiti, Miami, to be real, though. You feel me? You know, he been holding shit down, though. Big homie King B, you feel me? Make sure I get this Eastway merch, you feel me? New logos, new merch on the way. Everything in house, as you can see, you feel me? Just, you know, young entrepreneurs trying to get this shit right, you feel me? It's gonna be the kitchen yeah. where you eat and chill. This is the B room right here. This is the smaller studio room. Recording booth. See, we still working out this shit right now. We ain't waiting, you feel me? Still working out this shit. I'm from the Haiti, you know, born and raised, grew up, you know, still out here, you feel me? 23, you feel me? Like I said, young nigga, um, you feel me? Young entrepreneur. Matter of fact, to be real. You feel me? Not signed, you feel me? Everything. Out of pockets, pretty much. You feel me? Lobby area and shit like that. This is gonna be the production room right here. The white walls. All the walls gonna be white. So pretty much you could play a song, come in, shoot, get your background, your background artwork covered, or shoot a music video one time. All in one, you feel me? Then you got the bathroom. You gonna knock this shit down, make this shit. Have a walk-in shower. It's a lot more to show in Little Haiti, but right now the block is on fire. Shit's hot. Niggas ain't out there. How many niggas between me and you from South Day and all over the fucking state would, would have took all this shit and put it in a fucking chain? chain. And a nigga would have snatched it and popped it in your face and took it from you. Nigga can't rob you for this. This shit gonna end up going into them niggas' kids. Even if it don't physically go into it, the lesson should. If you selling dope and your kids selling dope, nigga, you fail. I don't give a fuck. When them niggas get grown and they make their decision, it's like, right. It's like, what you could do? You just could pray for them and try to guide them. It's still on them. It's still on them. It's still on them. Just pray for them and hope they do the right thing, bro. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Lil Haiti out here in Miami. There's a party going on. It's about to get dark. I hope you guys come back and uh, watch my future videos.